Konnichiwa party peeps, Manga Man here. Kitty on a leash. And we're here with Manga Man and Kitty at the movies. Yeah. Uh, this past uh, week we saw uh, a highly anticipated movie for us. Alita Battle Angel, directed by Robert Rodriguez and produced by James Cameron. Yes! Yes! Too excited. Too, too excited. Many of you might know that are familiar with my channel. Uh, Alita Battle Angel is my favorite manga of all time. Yep. I've gotten uh, this little love bug smitten with it as well. And for those of you that are not too familiar with the series and don't want any spoilers, this first half of this video will be spoiler free. Spoiler free. And then the second half, and we'll mark it off so that you'll know, uh, will be spoiler heavy. So just keep that in mind. And um, we'll have some more information in there for like fans of the manga that have read it. That we have read it. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, our impressions, first time impressions, first seeing the movie. We're probably going to see it again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Definitely. So, short answer for uh, non spoiler review I loved this movie. I loved it so much. 10 out of 10. 10 I would, out of I would 10. rate it a 10 out of 10, really. Perhaps so. even the best and uh, best. Japanese to American adaptation I have seen. I know that's not saying much given the comparisons we have, but mm -hmm. it's really good. You could tell that this movie was made by fans as yeah. James Cameron, who is constantly mm -hmm. quoted on the back of every Battle Angel Alita has said, just a great kick-ass story. <laughs> and this is just a great kick-ass kick story. Kick-ass. <laughs> <laughs> story but with a lot of heart behind it as well yes a big heart behind it so for those of you unaware battle angel alita takes place thousands of thousands of years far flung into our future mm -hmm. society is split up into two separate uh places in the manga it was called typhirus and that's what i'm going to be calling it in this review because mm -hmm. i don't feel like looking it up what the movie called it it, yeah, it was totally different. <laughs> and that's the thing for the spoiler review. Mm -hmm. But just know that there's an upper echelon of people that are living the high life, and then there's the people that live down in Iron City in the scrapyard who just take whatever refuge and trash that comes down from Tiberius and tries to make a living out of it. In there we meet a Dr. Ido who discovers Alita, a cyborg, with her brain intact in the scrapyard. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody. Just a head and maybe a little bit of a torso. Uh, from there, he uh, is able to revitalize her, gives her a new body, and, well, basically the story, without kind of spoiling too much, uh, Alita has got amnesia. She's trying to discover more about herself, and it's a real uplifting coming-of-age story of a character who started from nothing, literally from the trash, and has risen up to be a force to be reckoned with for those that would dare oppose her. Yeah. Uh, so, without without spoiling much, mm -hmm. uh, thoughts on Alita Battle Angel for those that don't know about it? Um, I thought it was fantastic. I feel like anybody can watch this movie and anybody will love it um it was very great the acting was really cool and i know a lot of people were complaining about the eyes the eyes the eyes were fine the eyes are fine i mean they were fine if you watched avatar they had big uh, big big old eyes as well they were aliens <laughs> like, yeah that's crazy it's aliens. and she's a cyborg yeah and we see plenty of other cyborgs in this movie with crazily disproportionate body parts yeah um so you know i feel like this movie is it's fantastic um um everybody will probably really enjoy it um it's high energy um lots of action lots of story we got it's, to see it on IMAX, and if you can, yes. definitely see it in 3D or IMAX. Yeah, definitely. Definitely spend that extra money to see it, like, the full thing, like, in, like, better. Better quality. <laughs> I, I mean, I was skeptical at first, like, you know, seeing some of the trailers. I was worried mm -hmm. about the acting. 
I have to say, uh, Rosa Salazar did a fantastic job in portraying Alita. Yes. Uh, she kind of plays it as uh, a fish out of water, but not some airhead ditzy, like, oh, what is this? Yeah. She mm-hmm. has, like, some spunk to her. She really does. Like, uh, first time, uh, and this is not a spoiler, uh, first time eating chocolate, like, mmm, chocolate's my favorite. Mmm. <laughs> I just love that. I love the chemistry that she had with the actor who played Hugo, uh, who was Kian Johnson. Yeah. Very, I really liked him in this movie. I liked him. Yeah, it was, it was such a cute, like, love happening. Um, and it's not forced, it's not, like anything we typically see in movies it happens naturally and it flows very well so i absolutely love that part and the movie's not all about the love story too which is yeah it's amazing. just a little side yeah. part mm-hmm. uh the villains were intimidating oh yeah uh we had the uh kind of mafioso uh head of the scrapyard mm-hmm. played by part of my pronunciation mahershala ali Mm-hmm. Uh, or in the movie called Vector. Yeah. And uh, also plays Cottonmouth and in, Nick Cage. Yeah, Nick Cage. I believe he plays like Cottonmouth <laughs> and Nick Cage. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Nick Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he plays Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> uh, very intimidating. Uh, Doc Doc Ido, uh, played by Christopher Waltz. A uh, nice, subtle performance by him. He did a good job in kind of showing the fatherly concern for Alita, but also a little bit of the, you know, you know, the swell up of pride at some points. Like, they did butt heads a lot on some topics. Like, you shouldn't go out after dark. There's dangerous people. Yeah. I don't want you to be a killer like me and stuff, but that's spoiler. Well, so we won't yeah. be talking much about that. Uh... But anyways, fantastic. 10 out of 10. Manga Man seals of approval. Go see Alita Battle Angel. Do it for me. Do it so we can get a sequel. Please. It's doing very well in the box office. It right is, now. but they still need help. Show Hollywood that these types of adaptations are what we want for our anime and manga. Support this movie. You support the anime industry. Yeah, you do.